Kisizam Pu everyone. Welcome to the video tutorial on how to calculate pit capacity. During the evaluation of works, pit capacity is an important parameter for qualification of pitters in the qualification stage. It carries 25 points in the qualification stage. The calculation is quite simple and this video will guide you step by step how it is calculated. Therefore, please watch the video till the end. You can also refer the evaluation guidelines. The link to download the guideline will be provided in the video description below. First of all, let's see what do we mean by bit capacity. As per the evaluation guideline, bit capacity is the capacity of the contractor to take up additional works to what he is already doing. This parameter is crucial in determining whether the contractor can successfully execute the works given, his resources and the work he is already committed to. This is the formula to calculate the bid capacity of a contractor. Bid capacity is equal to 2 into A into N minus B, where A is the annual turnover of the contractor in past 3 years, N is the estimated duration of the project to be tendered in years. B is the portion of other ongoing works to be completed in the period that overlaps with the current project's duration. Let's begin the calculation. Following will be the steps to calculate average turnover. Step 1. List all the projects the contractor has executed in the last three calendar years, both completed and ongoing with project duration in months and start and completion dates. Let's assume we are in 2020 and following are the projects of a contractor. Step 2. Obtain the value of these projects per month calculated as the total amount divided by its duration. Now, arrange these projects clearly according to their timelines on the calendar for last three years with monthly amount. Step 3. Calculate the annual turnover for each year as sum of each project value per month. Step 4. Inflate the value from each year by 5% to bring it to the price levels of the current year. Step 5. Calculate the average annual turnover for past 3 years. This is A. This is the calculation of N. Estimated project duration will be calculated first in number of months and then converted to years by dividing by 12. For example, if the project is to run from April 2020 to June 2022, the project duration will be as following. 27 months, that is 27 divided by 12, which is equal to 2.25. Round off this value to next higher multiple of 0.5. Therefore, n is equal to 2.5. Following will be the steps to calculate B. Let's assume the current project to be awarded is as following. Project E worth new 250 million, which starts from April 2020 to March 2023. Arrange this project in the Excel with its timeline. Step 1. Consider the projects that the contractor is currently executing. Project C and Project D are the projects that are currently ongoing. Find the number of months and amount of this project that overlaps with the project to be awarded. Project C overlaps for 4 months and Project D overlaps for 9 months. Step 2. Find the total value of overlapping ongoing works as the sum of all overlapping periods and their corresponding monthly volumes. In this case, overlapping ongoing work will be B is equal to 5 into 4 for project C plus 6 into 9 for project D, which is equal to new 74 million. Therefore, B is equal to new 74 million. Therefore, bit capacity in this will be equal to 2 into 82.2 into 2.5 minus 74, which is equal to new term 337 million. Compare this amount with the quoted value of the contractor for the tendered work. 
A contractor can score anywhere between 0 and 25 depending on how close is his bid capacity to his quoted price. Hope this video was helpful to understand the calculation of bid capacity and please refer evaluation guidelines for more details.